Hello YouTube, I'm back with a new video and this time I'll be talking about the problems you can encounter when trying to pass PCI Express devices to your virtual machines. The script we are looking at is very similar to the script we left off with in the previous video. Functionally, it's no different. There is one difference though. I uh, added a USB controller card to my machine and the same script when we launch it might uh, give us different results. So let's see, VM, okay. So the problem we encountered here, group one is not viable. Please ensure all devices within the IOMMU group are bound to their VFIO bus driver. Before, this wasn't a problem because the group one did not include this particular card. Now that it does, let's look what uh, our group one looks like. Find sys kernel IO and new groups type L. Okay, so group one right here and what do we see we have our graphics card number one right one and one dot one but we also have number two what is that and number two is a usb controller card okay so what can we do in this situation Number one, we could take that card out or we can take it out and move it to a different slot. Either one of those would work fine. Let's say we don't want to do that. All we need to do is bind it to a VFIO driver. Well, we in uh, video number three, I believe, we uh, saw a script. This one right here. And that script, the script binds devices to the VFIO driver when executed. So we can we can run this script from our uh, command line, and that script is called VFIO bind.sh. And to bind this, we would first specify the domain. So the four zeros, zero two, dot I mean colon zero zero, dot zero. And if we run this script, it will bind this card to the VFIO driver. After that, we should be able to run the virtual machine. Another way of doing it is putting this line right here. VFIO bind dot sh zero 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 dot zero. Okay. We can also restore it later if we add those two lines. Uh, I mentioned them in video number three, but we don't need it. That's optional. So let's see what happens when we run this uh, virtual machine now. Let's save this and let's try running it. Okay. And uh, we get this pop-up here with the QEMU window. We also get an output on the monitor, but the reason why we get this QEMU window is because I removed the line uh, that said VGA none. If we kept that, there would be no output, no graphical output on our host machine. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Okay, so I have my mouse. I also have the other window, you, well, the other monitor you can't see, so I'll open a, a device manager. Okay, and I'll show you that the graphics card is actually attached. Let's see. Okay. NVIDIA GeForce GTX 980. It is attached to the virtual machine. Okay, so in this case, 
the solution was either removing the card, relocating the card so it doesn't con conflict with the IOMMU group, or uh, uh, binding it to the VFIO driver. Great. What other problems can we encounter? Well, sometimes you launch your virtual machine and what might happen is you might get another different kind of error and there are many different kinds of errors you can get. What to do? Well, that might depend, but the general troubleshooting steps for something like that would be to try to isolate the problem and uh, let's say uh, you have a graphics card attached and let's say you have a controller, a USB controller card attached and with that combination of uh, components, the machine won't boot. What do you do? Well, you remove one or the other. Well, in, in, when I mean remove, you delete one or the other. So you might just delete the graphics card like this and launch the machine and see what happens. If it works, well, it might be a problem somewhere, something going on with the graphics card. So in that case, what might help is uh, changing the slot uh, it's plugged into. And that might be a good solution. What else is you, can you do? You remove the controller card and leave the graphics card plugged in. If it works, problem the problem might be with the controller card. So it's another thing uh, you might want to try. These problems, I don't think I can mention. I can mention them all if I if this video was a couple hours long. So if I run into something interesting, I'll make another video about it. But for now, uh, I will see you uh, with my next video, and that one should be on uh, passing a GTX 2080 Ti to a virtual machine or not GTX, the RTX 2080 Ti to a virtual machine. The interesting things, the thing about these uh, RTX cards is that they have a built-in uh, USB controller and it makes them really interesting for virtual machines. And th they can also be used for uh, mini ITX or micro ITX builds uh, with only one uh, expansion slot and uh, you could get uh, your controller and graphics card and the sound card off all of one slot so i'll be talking about that in my next video see you until then